year I learned a lot last year but I'm leaving all that behind in 2021 and I'm coming into 2022 with a brand new mindset how do you think Fury White ends however Tyson wants it to end um, whenever Tyson wants to fight to finish it will finish just uh, lastly I spoke to Jake Paul a few weeks ago and he said to me that if you want to fight him you need to fight someone like Tyron Woodley yeah. before fighting him just your reaction to that um, if Jake Paul thinks he's going to tell me who to fight or when to fight he can go and uh, jog on I'll fight whoever my dad and Frank Warren put in front of me and uh, if he wants to stop being a coward and get it on let me know I mean I'm not interested in, you know, in that fight if it comes it comes if it doesn't it doesn't I'm not interested um, I've got a boxing career to fulfil uh, I want to be active this year and show everybody how good I can be because I don't think I get the credit that I deserve I live and breathe this job and um, my aim isn't to just get a big fight with a big YouTuber my aim is to be a world champion one day and stand on a stage like this and um, whether I fight Jake Paul or not that's, that's not going to come by fighting him. So I'm not interested, you know, I'm sick of talking about that fight. He knows he knows, he knows, knows where the big fights are at. You know, if he wants to carry on doing 60,000 pay-per-view buys, it's no problem. But if he wants to get in the hundreds of thousands, he, know, he knows where to come. I mean, Khan told me that you would have taken that shot that he knocked Woodley out with. What would you make of that sort of compliments from uh, a world champion like that? Yeah, definitely. You know, I mean, Khan, I've always got time for him. He's a lovely fella, always been nice to me, always said good things about me and Tyson. Um, you know, it means a lot. It means a lot coming from him. Um, and I thank him very much for that and yeah I would have took that shot very easily because I, I believe that man hits like a feather duster um, and he's got nothing to beat me with Jake Paul absolutely nothing so I would have took that come back I wouldn't even took the shot he wouldn't beat me with nothing like that seen the right hand oh here we go here's the right hand and here we go you can drink coffee by the time that came he wouldn't be, be catching me no shots like that so many thanks for talking to Pro Boxing Cheers. fans Cheers.